Fabs, who do you like? I'm going to Amari Cooper. Everything that we have heard about this guy has been positive. Uh, someone who compares to a Torrey Holt, who was one of the best fantasy wide receivers during his time. And what I like about Cooper, not only his intangibles, his skill set, what he can do on the football field, but he's catching passes from Derek Carr. This guy's got a hand cannon, as Matt Money Smith likes to say. And I would not be surprised if Cooper finished in the top 15 in fantasy points at his position. And guys, remember, the Raiders are improved, but they're probably going to be playing from behind often this year, which means throwing the football garbage time points. We yeah. love them. And top 15, you might be talking top 10 in PPR leagues. The yeah, amount of potential. attention he's going to get from Derek Carr. How about it, Elliot? Rookie. You know, for me, T.J. Yeldon is not going to put up the kind of numbers that Cooper is, let's be honest. But T.J. Yeldon is somebody that you can get late in your draft. And by late, I think you could still get him in the sixth or seventh round. T.J. Yeldon should be the number one back there by the back half of the schedule. And when you're taking somebody in those rounds, they don't necessarily need to be a starter for you at your running back spot every week. So if this guy picks it up over the back half of the schedule, you're going to be really happy having him plug him into your flex every week. So I'm thinking of him as an RB3 for you. Like I said, he's not going to be Amari Cooper, but not every rookie can be Amari Cooper. Uh, last season, it was all about the wide receivers when it came to the rookie class. Uh, we got a host of them in this one as well. Yeah, we do. And I, since I can't take Juju Smith-Schuster, I'm going to take his former <laughs> USC teammate. Go with Nelson Aguilar. I like what this Philadelphia offense is going to bring. I like Sam Bradford at the quarterback spot. I think Jordan Matthews has a huge year. But I think Nelson Aguilar steps right in as that number two receiver and puts up solid numbers. We saw what Matthews did last season as the Eagles' number two receiver. And I don't see why Aguilar can't do that. He's a guy who runs great routes, has consistent hands, is extremely athletic, and then has great speed once he gets the football in his hand. So I think he has a really, really productive year in an offense that could be one of the most productive in the National Football League. I will uh, project based on just eyeballs uh, when it came to what this young man did in college for the University of Georgia, and that would be Todd Gurley. Uh, you hear it regularly. People are always looking for the next Adrian Peterson. And if you watch Todd Gurley at Georgia, you saw someone that very closely resembled Adrian Peterson at Oklahoma. Just a physical force, an athletic specimen. You see him catching the ball out of the backfield. He can be a three down back for that Rams offense. And if you think about Jeff Fisher and what he likes to do when it comes to his offensive football, remember Eddie George and what he did when he had a workhorse back that could carry the load. I love Nick Foles and uh, Brian Quick being able to take the top off of a defense and Todd Gurley to be the beneficiary of that as well. You're probably going to have to draft him kind of high, but I do believe he will pay dividends, especially as you get into the postseason in your fantasy league.